What is going on everyone? Commodore Laz here today bringing to you my live reaction of the Haikyuu Haipu Manga Chapter 320 titled Teacher vs. Student 2. Listen, I was like rereading the One Piece chapter and stuff because I hadn't seen that Haikyuu came out and I went to go back to the site and stuff to see you know, if, if anything changed and I saw it was out and I saw like the little title thing and it said Teacher vs. Student 2 and I'm like hold on man, I go back to my last week's chapter, last week's reaction and I titled it as you guys would know, Teacher vs. Student Part 2. I, I just love the fact that the, the, the name of the title of the chapter is exactly what I put for the reaction last week. But normally I wish I had my hero out. Unfortunately, I'm going to wait two weeks for my hero uh, when I get back from New York and stuff. So today we're going to dedicate some Haikyuu greatness, man. As it says, Kuro Suki Part 2. I'm here for it, man. Look. At the same time, like, inside my heart, man, I'm sad because it's like, you know, this is going to be the last time we're going to see these two variations of Nakama versus Karasuno. You know, with Kuro being with the third years and stuff, you know, with his team, you know, Daichi, Sugawara, you know, uh, Azumani and stuff, you know, for Karasuno. Like, for these guys, once it's done, like, that's it. It's a wrap. And now, it's, especially since we're seeing, you know, from the teacher-student perspective, you know, Kuro, Suki, um... Suki's got to step up, man. He's got to take down uh, Kuro, man. The battle of the middle blockers. I'm excited. I'm hype. Let's get it. Let's read this chapter, man. 4-3 uh, lead right now for Karasuno from last time I remember. So hopefully we get to see a lot of points being scored. Let's see. Alright, hold on. Wait. So we're starting out. Okay, so we're going by the, 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 the flashback, I believe, from uh, the training camp. Because I'm pretty sure this is the same. Because I remember, yeah, especially because I think of Volkans, yeah, Volkans are here. Hold on. If you swallow a watermelon seed, I'll, it'll start sprouting your stomach. Did you know? <laughs> I remember my mom used to tell me that before as a kid. If you leave, if you just leave it, apparently it'll puncture through your stomach. Oh, is that so? I will be careful. <laughs> hey, did you know Bokuto's? I probably don't know, but it's all right. I don't need to know Bokuto. Hey, 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 hey! <laughs> don't put so much force into jumping sideways. Ohm to, ohm to a standstill first at the summer training camp. The jump up. So he's remembering like what he learned from Kuro. And he, well, let me back this up because I'm, I'm expecting a double spread. I'm expecting a double spread. Hold up. But the way, the way Suki is right now, the jump up. Yo! Let's go! Kai comes in, makes the shot, and nothing. Suki comes in, boom, blocks it. A way hot final set. Kai gets stopped, but Yaku comes in. Chance ball. Nice block. And Azumani comes in. And go. Bro, look at Kuro's face. Even the one in the bottom. But dude, Kuro has like that menacing face right now. One touch. Nice one touch. You see Kemba looking on. And Kemba makes a step. And Suki notices. He's going right towards where Takatora is. Him and Kageba pulling up. He hits it, but it deflects. It's about to go on the line. No, man. Tanaka comes in, makes the receive. Sends it back up. And they are at the same time. Let's go. No, Suki, you got to push that back. Put the pressure, man. Suki and Kuro right up against each other. And he has the advantage. He has the advantage. He has the advantage. I see the hands. My boy has the advantage. Oh... Yo, and Kuro's like, nah, man. None of that. Just like wax it right back. Five to five. Go, go, touch throw. Push it, push it, touch throw. Go, man. Sorry. <sighs> Suki, quit trying so hard, man. Prolonging the rally only makes you more tired, right? And you see, they're both sweating buckets now, man. Oh, dude, Kuro was, yo, you know what? Suki is the future, but yo, can't out Kuro, man. The student almost had the teacher on the ropes right there. The, the teacher just came back in with the punch. Well, Kuro-san, if you stop trying so hard, we'd already be finished here, wouldn't we? You see like panting and everything. Suki almost seems like the type to lose his chill once uh, he gets tired. Hey man, you and Bakato are responsible for at least half of this. You can thank yourself for all of this. <laughs> you see like the little smirk, he's like, hmm? He's like, well, you could do the same. Reblocks are, are, are the blo re blocks are the lo blocks that get the last laugh. Even if you got it all thought out in your head, it doesn't necessarily mean you'll be able to execute the plan the way you want to. The ideal for every blocker is, of course, a shutdown spikes. 
a crowd, a clean, uh, clean crowd pleasing shutdown that ends with a bang. Movements based on pure instinct. Everyone chases the that ideal to the point where they exhaust themselves and put themselves at a disadvantage. But hey, you see the two of them going at it again, man. Hold on, see Tanaka comes in. I think Kai was the one that made this uh, the save again. Yeah, Kai comes in. Nice receive. Blockers move so blockers move so much, but they don't get much payoff uh, since they don't actually score that many points. It kind of feels like a waste. We still got to there. True, they may seem like the most ordinary and boring plays. But from a spiker's point of view, their blocks are the worst. The blockers enter a spikes, a spikers field of vision, and make them really uh, feel that if you hit it this way, you're dead. And Tanaka comes in, it goes out. So obviously not gonna get the point. I really do like the Suguru, Suguru like um, like his perspective, almost like as a narrator and stuff in a way for this matchup. Even though like obviously no narration box, but like him doing like you know the uh, the play by play from like a player's perspective uh, compared to the commentary, I actually like this kind of style. So he gets it six to six. He thought he's like damn it. And then you don't even get to see curl, bro. You don't even get to see his face right here. Like the one time you do from the Tanaka one, but he, like he's just looking down and like Kay's like looking at him after. Suki, your absolutely sticky sticky blocks really make me uh, make people mad, huh? If it's getting hard for you to talk talk back to him, you want me to just punch him for you? I love how Daichi's the one saying this, and whatever something's going on with uh, Shizuku and everything, right? With Tanaka and Ishinoya, this man's like, nah, you're not, you're not gonna do that. But with Curl, he's like, yo, I'll throw hands, no worries. And that really made me think, thank goodness I wasn't wrong. Yo. As everyone's con concentration intensifies, the next point becomes a point we simply can't lose. So see, Curl comes in now for the serve. Daichi comes in with the receive. Get it! No, see, Kageyama setting up. Nice, 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 nice. Come to a standstill first and jump up. Increase the field area you're blocking. Read blocks of the blocks that get the last laugh. And you see Lev pulling up, bro. The Russian demon coming through. Azumani makes a hit. And goes right towards Kuro. So he, he doesn't take the fight. He goes the other way. But Kuro makes it. The moment where the teamwork uh, all clicks into place is probably a far more satisfying moment. That you've ever imagined. And you see Kuro coming in making it. And Lev with the smile. Ha! Nice receive! <laughs> you see Kevin like... <laughs> and everyone's like freaking out like... Oh! And you see K. Ah oh, shit. I can't win. And Lev... Yo! Kevin looked like he was going to set up Lev. You see Kuro from behind. You see he lets it go. And yo! It's so cute! It makes it stop. If I had tried to compete, it'd only be right up at the net. One touch. Dude. These guys are really going out. I see Yachi. Chance ball. I won't let this one pass for free. I can feel that pressure, bro. Yo, and that's the thing with these setters, man. They realize that they got the blockers right behind them and stuff. Like, they gotta be so careful with whatever they're gonna be planning. Pretty scary. Because it's because of that fear. And you see, you see Suki coming in again. They're not giving us any time to think. This is a short distance dead center showdown of height. I don't kind of like uh, kind of like uh, don't like kind of doing that kind of thing. Hinata and I simply have too big of a difference when it comes to natural talent. How's volleyball been for you lately? And he goes, he lands it. He gets the point. Yo, right past Kuro and Takatora. They had no, they couldn't stop that. Right like in the middle, you couldn't stop that. And you see Lev curls like that on the ground. They improve each other by both refusing to back down. That's the end of the chapter. Is there more? Is there more? Come on. No, there's no more. Oh, but what was the point tally now? Because they moved it from 6-6 six, six before. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. 6-6 six, six here. So this was the rally. Yeah, so this was the rallying point. So this had to have been, yeah, 7-6 right now for Karasuno. Okay. Oh, man, yo, this chapter was some heat, man. Teacher versus student going at it. <sighs> yo, Suki, Suki's out here, man. He really is out here. Kuro looked like he was, he got him the first time, you know, with the putback and everything. But this time around, Suki's like, nah, man, like, listen, 
I'm the future. I'm the future for Karasuno, man. Alongside Kagiyama and with Hinata, like, yo, I'm part of the future, man. So, all heads gotta step down. But, yo, this is so dope, man. Holy crap. Like, the double spreads, man. Furudate snapped. How many? One, two. How many double spreads my man, did my mans do? Yeah, he, like, well, three at least. But the, the art just looks so good in this, man. Like, oh, my God. You got that volume 34 coming out, too, man. Yo. Yo. Yo, this is gonna. This match is already uh, cl like gonna be a classic at the end of the day. But just like, yo, just getting to see like these little like storyline threads and stuff. You know, the characters that like are connected with each other and stuff, man. Like Junkuro and K, obviously Hinata, you know, Kenma, and then obviously him and the Haiba. You know, Nishinoya and Yaku. Like, I just love like the song. Just like you know, even like. It's a team versus team thing, but like even like to the very nitty gritty stuff, man. Just from a character versus character standpoint, this is so well done. But yo, this is some fire, man. But it's like yo, like I, I know it's like as the points start to tally up more and more, man. It's like we're getting close. I mean, we still got quite a way though before the, the you know the final like, match point and everything. But it's like we're getting closer and closer, man, to like the end of this final battle between these two teams. This art looks so good, man. Like, I just, I can't. Like, this art looks so fire. And this is a weekly haiku, like. But yeah, this this is going to get at least, like, an 8.5, maybe a 9, honestly, for me. Like, amazing stuff. <sighs> haiku haiku, man. But let me know your thoughts on the comment section below. Uh, what did you guys think of this week's chapter? You know, you're a fan of the Suki versus Kuro aspect. Uh... You know, even let me know too, even like the stuff with Suguru and stuff, right? Like, what do you guys think of that whole perspective too, you know, from a player actually, you know, commenting on the match? Because he's been doing it for quite a while and stuff for Karasuno's matchups. But I really do like the fact that he's kind of like talking like that because you're getting from a perspective from a player as opposed to always getting from like the commentary and stuff, you know, that we usually get. But like I said, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Like the video if you enjoy. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new here. If you want to be part of the weekly journey, you just come on here for the first time. And you want to be a part of the greatness, man, that is Karasu and Nekama. You just don't have anyone else who, you know, covers the manga for Haikyuu, man. Subscribe. Will not be disappointed. And stay tuned for more greatness. Especially, man, look. Shout out to 31 million sales for the greatness that is that Haikyuu Haifu, man. It's already past Death Note. You know, it's a past, like, you know, uh, you shoot the Torah. All these, you know, old, ancient, you know, big time series from back in the day. It's already establishing itself as one of the best. And I'm looking forward to it, man. So, I'll see you guys. Actually, you know, I should I should probably say this now in events. Uh, next week, we are getting early chapters, of, I believe. I will not be able to put out a video for 321 when it comes out during that time. I will try and do that on the Sunday because I'm going to be flying out to New York and stuff from the 4th until the 7th. So when I get back on the 7th, which will be probably sometime in the afternoon, in the evening, I'm going to try and get a video out by then. So if you guys notice, for whatever reason, Friday, I have nothing coming out for Haikyuu whatsoever, or even Saturday or so, or even Thursday when it comes out. Uh, I'm pretty much away. Sunday, next week, I will see you guys for the greatness that is chapter 321 of that Haikyuu hype. So Commodore Lad signing off. Thanks so much for watching. And as always, take care.